Okay, today we're going to discuss about how to creating points uh, within QGIS. So first thing you want to do is open up a new project, which is here. Secondly, you have to have a uh, CSV file. You could look at here, or you could open up under layer data source manager. And make sure that you select the limited uh, text. Uh, after that, you could browse it to the, the location of the CVS file. It will automatically open and create a layer name for you. But if you want to use uh, something else, you could put it here and make sure you have the latitude and longitude um, information in there as part of uh, your CVS file. And this will be a sample of. Uh, from the table what it would look like. Click add. As you can see there's a point that correspond to each latitude and longitude. You could take a look at the attribute by um, select the open attribute table and this will be all your information that's uh, within the CSV file itself but open under um, attribute um, for the mapping um, and if you wanna save the file you could click right click it and go under export save feature as uh, you could save as a CSV file or you could save in all the format just as a map info tab file you could do that too um, but in this case I'm gonna go continue on uh, to create additional inf uh, information regarding uh, cell sector so um, you need to load the add-in call vector uh, I'm sorry you have to uh, load a add-in call shape tools under shape tool and go to create pie wedge double click on that once you open the CSV file which is uh, appearing under these layers you will see it show up here as, since it's only one layer um, show up so it's going to automatically pick it up for you you could you know, the shape type you want to use um, polygon um, you could use uh, the option uh, indicating center azimuth and width or you could use uh, beginning and ending azimuth but just to be easier um, as an easy option, center, azimuth, and width is the one that I will choose. Um, as you can see here, center azimuth field is optional, so you want to tell the program um, what's azimuth going to be. If you don't have the beam width or azimuth width of the uh, the width of the azimuth, you it's, you could use a default information here. So in this case, I'm going to change that to 65 degrees. Um, you could change the unit here, but I'll, I'll keep the way it is. And default radius will be one, and in this case, it'll represent one kilometer. Is depending what unit you have here. I'm going to change this to 64 segment. Um, once you have everything that you need in here, click run. Close. So um, on the sector information, uh, if you're going to use this as part of your telecom or cellular planning, um, the sector information is going to show up here. And you could all, as a moment, this uh, layer here for the sec um, for the wedges or sector pie, it will be under temporary. So uh, if you want to make it permanent, you have to. Um, Click on it. Sure. You need to go under here and then exports and then save feature. Um, and you could save as uh, map info, tablet file, or um, you could leave as a shape file. Okay. Um, so let me show you how. Just go ahead and save this as a tablet table file. 
and you could uh, specify the name here and put in where the location that you want to uh, save it to so let's make it uh, sector sample um, just leave the way it is um, you hit OK uh, in this case, I don't want it to be added to the map, or you know, once you save it, you, it could automatically add to the map also. So, uh, and then you could take this out. So there's your uh, sector uh, sector map, and in in this uh, for the point, you have to save it. Uh, if you want to put in a different uh, format, just as the map info file. And again, you could go ahead and save it as sector points. And click. Click OK. So now you just have create uh, both the sector and uh, sector point if you want to. Uh, use as an, another layer um, and that would be it folks and you could actually um, look at the location that you save so you will see a file for sector map and uh, which is the point that you create as a map info file and also a sector um, information that you could use later on for your analysis. All right, thank you. And that would be it um, on how to create points from a CSV file um, that could represent a site and also sector information that uh, would represent um, uh, a symbol for each sector in a pie format. Thank you.